Turn into weather that's out of this world. Our meteorologists say Colorado will experience a significant solar storm this weekend. A severe solar storm watch has been issued by the Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder. Meteorologist Casey Dorn explains what that means for us. The most powerful solar storm in two decades is headed to Colorado this weekend. You might be able to see the northern lights, but we could also experience some issues with our technology. So let's talk about how to see the northern lights and why your phone might be glitchy this weekend. And the sun has a magnetic field. It sends us a constant stream of particles called the solar wind. These particles move around a million miles an hour. At that speed, you could go from Colorado Springs to Denver in under a second. But the sun is 93 million miles away, so it takes these particles 93 hours to reach us. Sometimes the sun's magnetic field gets tangled like a stretched rubber band. Eventually, the band snaps, releasing a lot of particles all at once. This is called a coronal mass ejection. If that band snap is facing Earth, the particles hit our own magnetic field, creating a solar storm. In this storm, we've got several rubber band snaps combining together into a powerful wave, which will reach Colorado on Friday night. The aurora, also known as the Northern Lights, typically isn't visible here, but could be Friday night into Saturday morning. The best chance to see that will be in northern Colorado, far from city lights, and at higher elevations with a clear view of the sky to the north. Now, if the aurora arrives a bit earlier on Friday night, you might have a chance to see it in some parts of southern Colorado with partly to mostly cloudy skies. But low pressure will continue to drive clouds and showers Saturday morning in southern and central Colorado. Areas north of I-70 have the best chance to see the aurora weather-wise. Now, because these particles are similar to the ones used by our power grids and radio antennas, they'll affect those systems, and our utility companies are already working to protect them so they keep on working for us when the storm hits. For more on the potential technology impacts, check out my web article. Meteorologist Casey Dorn, News 5.